Hi guys, DJ McBowden here again with another one of my how-to videos and this time it's a micro scene um, now before I uh, give you a little tour and try and get up close and show you this uh, micro scene just like to say thanks to all my subscribers as usual uh, thanks for watching, keep watching, keep sending your comments in because you know, I'm glad you like what I do and if, you've, if this is the first video of mine that you've seen, check out my other videos on my channel because there's loads of cool stuff there. Um, so keep watching and uh, we'll show you what this is all about. So I've probably showed you some micro bus before and the micro London bus, the micro bus and stuff. But this is actually the models, the vehicles, and it's actually smaller again. And that's because they're in size with the buildings. I'm going to show you some of the buildings in detail. How I'm actually going to show you how I make some of the buildings. So uh, as I said, watch out for the next video when I'll show you the actual buildings themselves, how I made them and all that. Okay, so let's have a little tour and see what we've got. Okay, I'm trying to get as much detail as possible, but it's very hard when you're working on micro scale because there's so many little fiddly things to do. So let's see if we can get down, first of all, on this street view. Now, this is set in the middle of the 60s when steam trains um, were still running. And that's why I've got a model, a couple of steam train models. And I'll show you how I made those models of steam trains and all that um, at a later date, as I said. So pretty much I'm going to cover this model completely, all of buildings and the vehicles and the, the trains and everything like that. So let's go down here first and see if we can get really close. And this is like a bridge with a high street and it's like a raised level. As you can see and there's a lorry and a few vehicles, some street lamps. And I'll show you how I made those street lamps as well. And we'll just sort of pan across. Got like this block of flats which I'll show you how I made here. And um, you can see there's a couple of vehicles. There's um, a post office van and an ambulance, a lorry. There's a little bit of a park here and some nice houses, which I said I'll show you how I made them. And then there's like railway bridge arches, another sort of get down the street level. You can see there's a, a bus here bus stop and street lamps, houses, pretty much everything. And I say it took a bit of a while to do, but I quite enjoyed it, making it. But I said, but it's, it was a bit of a pain, but it was worth it in the end. As you can see here, there's a, you get in close, you can see there's a steam train at the railway station, signal box, water tower, pretty much everything, as I said. So, yeah, I will say go into details about the um, building itself at a later date on the next video. So you got a, a level cross in there. Now, one point I should add out is, as you can see, I've used brown to represent the railway track because it feels like it's been rusty and tracks always look rusty. So brown was the ideal colour to use for the railway lines. You see, there's a steam engine carrying a load of um, freights. So I pretty made up with the model. It went quite well, but I said it took a long time to do. And I uh, said, come down here, you can see. I'd like the route, road to be smooth, but unfortunately I haven't got enough stuff. But saying that, you've got a nice path there, a little car going down towards the station. You know what I mean? So you can get in, literally get into that side, as you can see there and uh, yeah so I kind of like this shot which is like getting down underneath the bridge you can see you've got lorry there's a lorry coming under the bridge there and a little van and this is like looking through the railway arch onto the station and this is a nice touch here which I said these little grill type things you use them as like a steel fence which then you can look through the arches you see as you go along, different um, scenes, which is quite cool. 
So we will, as I said, we will be looking in more detail at this model and I'll be showing you how I made some of the houses and the vehicles as part of my how to and micro series. I said so stay tuned for the next vid and I'll show you how I made them. Okay guys, so until next time, so keep watching my channels, keep subscribing, leave comments, please leave comments because I quite enjoy the comments and um, yeah, I'll see you next time with how we've made all these stuff. Take care.